LBL is one for the climbers. Now in most races, the calm before the storm is when the peloton is riding through the plains and the action starts when they enter the mountains. But here, it's the other way around. The action is in the valleys. And to explain that, I'm going to take you through the geological history of the Ardennes. The rocks that you can see along the race today are mostly these dark colored limestones. And often they contain small white fossils of corals and of shells. And they're used all over northwestern Europe as curbstones. They formed about 350 million years ago in shallow seas. And then 300 million years ago they were caught between two colliding continents. The layers of limestones were folded up like slices of cheese and made a mountain belt like the Alps that went from southern England all the way to Poland. But the hilltops of the Ardennes today and the shapes of the valleys tell us that that process of mountain building is not what is making today's climbs. So let's go up. Rivers and mountains try to get out as fast as they can along straight valleys. And then when they enter the lowlands, they start to make these large meandering curves. The rivers of the Ardennes, even though they're in the hills, also make these large meandering curves. And the hilltops behind me can be connected with a straight line. So what is a flatland river doing in a hilly landscape? And the answer is, the river is older than the hills. So the folded rocks of the Ardennes were, in the 300 million years that followed, eroded completely flat. A large meandering river system started to form, and then for reasons that we don't quite understand yet, the crust started to rise and the meandering rivers cut down. So the unique thing of LBL is that the riders are not climbing mountains, they are long gone. They are actually climbing out of valleys. <laughs> 